What's going on? I'm Bruce Taylor with Glory to God Productions. I'm here to basically show you the cost-effective way, the cheap way to do a promo for your ministry, your group, your church, your band, just whatever you want to do. So I'm here to show you uh, how to create a promo uh, with Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, if you come in right here, got internet connection. First you want to do is go to, you know, whatever your internet browser, type in mozilla.com. And after you do that, I'm already there. It's going to show up. This is the home page. You want to hit Thunderbird. Once Thunderbird come up, you hit download. And it's going to download. Thunderbird is an email client that allows you to show HTML, to import HTML, or to import pictures, or what have you. It allows you to do this stuff. Like I said, this is a basically a cheap way of doing a promo. So I'm going to set it up and I'm going to show you the account screen that you're going to go into. Here, mine is basically this account settings, but basically when you go to set up a, a new account, it's going to show like this. You got your email account, your RSS news and blogs, your Gmail, your news group. Just to let you know, if you have Yahoo, you won't be able to send emails with this through Yahoo because your pop is not activated through Yahoo. You will have to upgrade your Yahoo account to get it so it's good that you have a Gmail if you have a Gmail account it's good because this is all autom it automatically sets up your Gmail for you which I have like tons of emails with Gmail so we're gonna go with Gmail we're gonna hit next you type in your name like so so for instance if you if you have like a like a production company or whatever like that you will want that to ha be in your name like for instance ours is glory to God productions so I'm gonna type in glory to God productions Like that, you don't have to have caps on. Mine's just on there. Then you want to type in your email address. So mine's is glory to God productions at gmail.com. You want to hit next. And like I said, it automatically sets up all that information for you. All that information is automatically set up. And then after that, you hit finish. And you want to write your email. You go to the whole, uh, screen. Like I said, it's going to come up like this. put in the password because it's going to actually if you want to enable a password you're going to have to click yeah and then the same password that you have in your gmail is the same password is going to be for this so when you want to do a promo you want to go up here to write a little pencil and it says write you click right there go to write you come down into your body information box and I always hit center then you want to insert you hit this little box right here next to the smiley face but well, yours might not have the smiley face but mine does this box right here you want to click on that you got link anchor image H line and table you want to click on image don't use alternative text now if you do have alternate text for people basically that has email that don't accept HTML you want to use the alternate alternate text and type in your alternate text but for for right now I'm gonna just go don't use alternate text so they gonna just receive the HTML email you want to hit choose file after you choose your file you want to go wherever your pictures is at that you want to upload wherever your pictures is at you want to go upload we will go through all this you can go here all right now I found out the best way for emails as far as the size is width for 600 anything 600 or lower now anything 600 above you might have get an email pop up and then you will have like a box up under your email that you got to scroll over to see the whole email and I believe that that's kind of a waste of time because you will want people to see the whole email once it pops up without them scrolling over so 600 is probably the best for the width the height it really don't matter and a constraint is just basically um, like for instance if you want to change 600 to 650 the bottom height will automatically change with the width so with the constraint, what it does is if you change your width, it's going to 650, your height still stay the same so you can make your height whatever you want. That's with the constraint off. Now when you got the constraint on, that means it's got check marks. So whatever you put for the width, it'll automatically set for the height. So after you get that, after you get everything set up as far as your, um, your width and your height and all that, you want to go to appearance. Now since everything is already in the middle, 
at the beginning I showed you um the box that you click to make everything center so everything is centered so once they click on the email it's everything centered so you want to go down to top and bottom this is basically spacings you will go down to solid border now what this does is it allow a border to go around your picture so um, I mean you could go you could go 10 you could go 5 you could go 20 whatever how big you want your border to be so I, I, I always use 10 so now suppose with your picture suppose if you wanted to go to a um, like a website you just type in your website that you wanted to go to since this is a UGMN website uh, picture I just go HTTP www.ugmn.org basically it's our online radio station so that's what I want to show now since you did have the appearance in here with the border it's going to show like a little blue box around it so if you don't want that you can just go to solid border hit zero and now if you want your spacing like if you want to write something above this you want to uh, left click over here on the side of your picture hit enter and now you got space up there to type whatever you want now for me I could put underground gospel music net work now you want to highlight that when you you highlight it you can go bold you got um, italic you can also underline it we go bold you see how I got bold right there and then these basically with the A's with the up and the down is basically your your size you know the big A is basically is getting bigger 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 whatever how big you want it to get now hit when you do this you will want your text to not exceed the picture because if it does and you're looking at it you go to send it the other words might go up under it so it might not look professional enough so I go about basically right there if you want to go bigger you can uh, and then like if you want to write at the bottom you just click left click over here on the right side of the picture sorry I clicked too hard on the right side of the picture left click and you hit enter and it brings it at the bottom now you want to write let's say for more can't type right now for more information call 614 this is our office number studio number store number it's our number for everything call 847-2057 in bold I said to get it bigger now if you want to change font as well basically what you do is just you just highlight your font you highlight whatever you type and here's all your font that you can do now hint depends on the people's email if they can get the same font that you did so you might want to keep it basic like Times New Romans Arial or whatever you want to keep it probably basic so this is basically how it looks so I, I could just send it to myself to show you and I, in the subject I put UGMN then after everything is typed in you want to hit send and it tells you after how you send it send in plain text and HTML now basically when it says send in plain text and HTML is like how I said in the beginning if you have uh, a person that on your email list that can't accept HTML you want to hit plain text and HTML basically it'll go plain text to people that don't have HTML so they can still read your email and understand what your email is about and also for those that have HTML it'll pull up how you're seeing right here with the UGM and with the graphics and it'll say send HTML only so basically those that have plain text on their email only if you send HTML only they won't be able to open up your your email so I normally go send in plain text and HTML but it really don't matter right now because I'm sending it to myself and I hit send so it'll ask you for your password type in my password and it's composing and it's sent and that's how it looks everything what I just did now remember when I clicked on my picture remember I added a, um, a, a link in there so when I clicked on my picture boom it'll go right to the link wherever I sent it and that's our radio station link UGMN.org
24-7 online gospel music. And that's how you send a promo for your church, your production company, your radio station, whatever you want to do. And it's the cheap, effective way to send a promo. Thanks, and I'm Bruce Taylor with Glory to God Productions.